It's in Polish, but I'll translate. Ramona writes, May 11th, 1940. I've only been back home for three days, and now the Nazis have arrived in town. They killed Jakub Brozek. He was shot in the head. His horse was blocking the road. He taught me how to French kiss. I'm going to do something about this situation. May 12th, 1940. The Nazis have taken over the police station. They're asking local people to volunteer for service. I'm going to volunteer. I'm going to find a way to kill them. May 18th, 1940. Daytime, I care for the sick working at the asylum. On the evenings, I go to town to prepare supper for the Nazis at the police station. They seem to trust me. I think I can lure one of them away. If I can get a Nazi alone, I think I can kill him. I have never killed anyone. I don't know how to fight or fire a weapon. I will have to be smart about it. I miss the university. Perhaps what I'm about to do will be a learning experience. June 25, 1940. The Nazi appears to have a very high opinion of his mother. I learned this as he was bleeding to death at the end of my knife in the outhouse next to the bakery. Muti, Muti, he whimpered. My hands were shaking, nearly dropped my knife. I had told him I would kiss him, and he let me lead him outside into the night. November 29th, 1940. The Nazi appears to love his sausage. I learned this as he kept on eating his supper, even though the cyanide must have ruined the flavor. His eyes rolled back, all white, yet he kept chewing. The cyanide I stole from my mother's cabinet. At times, I am struck with pangs of remorse. But then, I think of Jakub Brozek. Ramona writes, May 2nd, 1941. The Nazi appears to become sleepy after climaxing. I learned this as his little soldiers were leaking out of me onto his sheets, and his face turned blue. From the rope I applied to his neck in his slumber. Tomorrow is my 18th birthday, May 29th, 1941. The Nazi appears to have been brought up lazy. I've learned this when I outran three of them carrying a crate of grenades. I think I'm pregnant. I wish I knew how to use a gun. Ramona writes, July 6th, 1941. The Nazi appears to be overly devoted to his police station. I learned this while tossing grenades into the building. Seven grenades went in, but not a single Nazi came out. Does killing Nazis make me a murderer? Don't know. Don't think so. I'm not a soldier, but this is what soldiers do. And I have to steal myself from emotion, like a soldier does. August 9th, 1941. The Nazi appears to be highly gullible. I learned this as I pretended I was drowning and he dove in to save me. Body armor and all. I had only to apply the gentlest of pressures to push him down until he stopped struggling. I am pregnant. It's not showing, but I think mother suspects. I've decided to find an apartment for myself. August 30th, 1941. I have my own apartment two floors above the bakery. I can't have this Nazi baby inside me anymore. It has to come out. I took some pills from my mother's cabinet. They did not work. All they did was make me sick. Ramona writes, September 3rd, 1941. The Nazi appears to be a reckless driver. I learned this after I cut his brake line and his car went over a cliff as he drove down the mountain. I didn't see it happen, but there was a picture in the paper. I had a friend at the university who successfully terminated her pregnancy through consumption of penny royal oils. I have written her for instructions. September 13th, 1941. A letter arrived from London today. I have procured a vial of penny royal oil. I have stolen some antibiotics from mother. I won't be coming to work tomorrow. September 14th, 1941. Pain unbearable. Won't stop bleeding. Ramona writes, September 20th, 1941. Still alive. The Nazi baby is gone. After the weekend, I go back to work. I have patients to tend to. I have Nazis to kill. January 5th, 1942. The Nazi appears to have poor reaction time. I learned this as I ran him over at the red light. I don't know what came over me. It was the middle of the day and people were looking. I drove away as fast as I could. I have to reduce the rate of my attacks or they will catch me. July 9th, 1943. The Nazi appears to be made of bacon. I learned this as nine of them burned alive inside a late night establishment. A lot can be accomplished with padlocks and gasoline. Father could smell the gasoline on my coat. I lied to him. 
He mustn't know what I have done. He's too sensitive. July 4th, 1944. The Nazi is a hopeless romantic. I learned this while smashing his skull using the hammer I had hid behind my back as he knelt to pick up my fallen glove. If I was a boy, father would have taught me how to handle a rifle. But instead I was trained to nurse the afflicted dig dirt for relics and write papers. I wish I knew a soldier. He could teach me how not to feel remorse. September 23rd, 1946. A man came in today. Horrible head trauma. He has scars all over him. He won't speak. No one knows where he's from. I think he's a soldier, but not a Nazi. I wish he could talk to me. He has a strength about him. July 10th, 1948. The war is over. The Nazis have declared victory. People are celebrating the peace. I can't stop crying. For me, this war is never ending. November 16th, 1951. The Nazi appears to have a hot temper. I learned this as I attempt to smash his head with a flower pot I dropped from my apartment window. Sadly, I missed. He had friends nearby. They broke my door down. I said it was an accident, but they gave me a black eye and spit on my dress. I want people on my side I can rely on. My grandparents are on my side, but they are not fit to fight. July 17th, 1955. The Nazi appears to be a choosy bachelor. I learned this as we sat on a picnic blanket in the Meadowlands. He said he would kiss me if I bleached my hair blonde. I was nauseated by his request. But as long as I smile and hide the hate, no one is suspicious of me. So he drank the wine I spiked with sedatives, and I rolled him down a shallow grave. December 24th, 1956. My heart is breaking. Friends I've known my whole life have all become Nazis. Mother and father are not happy about it, but they comply rather than resist. I feign my smile and act cheerful, but I have started to resent my own parents. I am 33 years old. I am all alone in the world. May 6th, 1957. I should keep fighting, but who is there to fight? Everyone is a Nazi now, or at least they pretend to be. I can no longer tell the difference. August 28th, 1960. Death's Head's men are coming by the asylum every other week. They are taking people that have been in my care for years. I look the other way. I hate them. I hate myself for giving up. But I can't fight alone anymore. I watch the men with the scars. I whisper things to him. Sometimes I can see some part of him is awake. I wonder if he can see me. I will not let them take him. That was the last entry, William. Some of the things in this diary happened a long time ago. And some of them may have happened to me. I miss you. I missed you a long time before I met you.